What is up everybody? It's Shane the Rising Red Picker and today we are going to be doing retail arbitrage at a special place and I'm not going to tell you until we get there so you can figure it out when we get there but I'm not going to tell you I'm going to keep it a little bit of a secret. Uh, I was picking up items at this place. Um, I'll show a picture later on in the thing. I didn't want to put this video out. I had filmed a bunch of content and it got deleted. Somehow my laptop deleted it. So basically uh, what I can say is that I will show some pictures of some of the stuff I picked up and I'm going to show some live footage of the, of, of the places that I was picking the stuff up at. But realistically, a lot of the footage got deleted. So just bear with me and keep in mind that um, anybody can do this. This is a this was a huge, huge pickup I had um, just on one item. Just on one item, I profited probably around sixteen to seventeen hundred dollars just off one item, and I will show you that item later on in the video. So this is retail arbitrage at its finest, and if you don't know what retail arbitrage is, here's the thing: retail arbitrage is the buying at retail stores to flip online, and some of it's clearance, some of it's not clearance, some of it's full price, just depending on the type of retail arbitrage you do. But that's the gist of it is you pick it up at clear at, at, at retail stores and you flip it on Amazon or eBay or other places online and you can do it clearance uh, full price and also discontinued products that's the three basic types of retail arbitrage so let's make some money all right I'm here at the store I'm just gonna stand outside for a minute and, and before I go in I'm gonna film just a tad bit but we are at none other than Panda Express. No, GameStop. That's where we're at. GameStop, yes. And I'm going to give you the breakdown on what I did, but we're going to go in and I'm going to kind of show you my uh, my strategy for for actually sourcing GameStop in this retail arbitrage video and, and the strategy that I used. Hey, how are you? Is your clearance still 50% off or? Buy one, get one free. Oh, awesome. Is it just buy one, get one free, or is it 50% off too? It's just buy you know? one, get one free. Oh, uh, okay, all right. I wasn't for sure because it was 50% uh, off last week, so or a week yeah, and a half ago or something. Oh yeah, no worries. I remember I was here a couple days ago they had just a bunch of Samus Amiibos and I'm like, at least I made Samus, so even though she was bad and just managed it. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. All right, I went in this one. They're not having the deal anymore. They said it's buy one, get one free. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I was doing and how, what I was buying and what and how I was buying it when I was actually retail arbitrage in this store two to three weeks ago. All right, I'm back in the car, and so obviously it's not as good now, but it's buy one, get one free. So two to three weeks ago, what I was doing is I was actually 
um, getting clearance items from GameStop for 50% off, okay? So, and I was buying a ton of stuff. So I actually went to Chicago. I cleaned out the entire city and suburbs of Chicago. I actually stayed in a hotel overnight for, for a day, for one night, and basically cleaned out the entire city of Chicago. And I bought one item, but also a ton of other items. The one item I bought was Anoya Trons. Here's a picture. So I bought these Anoyatrons for $3.49 a piece and I was selling them on Amazon for $31 and up. I sold over 40 of them. I still have like, I don't know, a few in stock, but they're pretty much selling still. And I profited around $1,700 off this one item. And it was amazing, and it was a lot of work, and I picked up uh, around 73 of them. So I picked up 73 of them, and I'm, I was selling them for $31.80 a piece on Amazon FBA. So you can do the math and kind of figure, figure out my total sales and my profit just by that. I know you can. So my main thing is what I was doing is I was buying these Anoyatrons, but also picking up a ton of other stuff inside the GameStops. I was picking up Pokemon figures, Monopoly Bojacks. I was picking up a ton of stuff. And I sent in like eight, seven to eight, or probably six or seven boxes to Amazon FBA full of stuff. And some of the stuff I sold on eBay. So I picked up a crap ton of Pokemon stuff. Um, one figure sold for literally just $50. And uh, I still have to list some of the Pokemon stuff on eBay. But they're collectibles, so the value is really not going to go down. And so the thing is, as I was picking up all this stuff, I probably spent total over $1,000. It was probably close to $1,300. And on just GameStop clearance, right? And so you can see like back then it was 50% off. Now the clearance has changed where it's buy one, get one free. So it's not as lucrative as what it was back then because everything was literally 50% off. With buy one, get one free, it's full clearance price plus a free item, which is still more than what I was paying at 50% off. And you're like, that doesn't make any sense. But it does because the 50% off off the ticketed price, even the lower ticketed price, you know, I was picking up Pokemon figures for $3 in a lot of stores, $3 to $1.99. Um, the multi figures were three bucks. The one, you know, a couple figures, uh, a couple figures I paid like $1.99 for. And now it would be like six bucks to $5 all them together. Um, so it's a little less lucrative, but you can still make money. That's the thing. You can still make money. So what happened was I went to Chicago. I spent a night there. I was outsourcing for two days on the road. And the night I get home, my little girl calls me and she's crying. She's like, Daddy, I miss you. And that's, that is right there is the sacrifice to retail arbitrage. If you want to do good for your family, sometimes you got to sacrifice. And I did. And it paid off. But let's go to another store and see what else maybe we can find. All right, so we're at a mall store. Uh, and we're going to hit a GameStop real quick in here. Let's see what we can find. It was like India was like they had it ready. When they got up to Pelson, they, they could call them by the rank. Really? Yeah, they're, they're drone changes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, there wasn't really nothing in that story either, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to the breakdown here in a minute because I'm gonna tell you something. Um, this is really important on why you don't want to miss any tips and why you always want to stay in touch and in tune with stores and also resellers. Okay, I'm in my car again because it's freezing cold outside. So obviously that story didn't really have a whole lot either. Um, if you look at the breakdown, okay, the 50% off. The prices are actually changed, so it's as weird as some of the prices, they actually, they boosted the prices up on the items. So, like if you see, uh, like, uh, for instance, some of the Overwatch stuff that you've seen in the video in the last clip, some of that Overwatch stuff was like 10 bucks, you know, the 12 bucks, now it's like 19.99. And so they were running this 50% off sale. It was 50% off the ticketed price. Well, the ticketed prices were a little cheaper. So you could actually get stuff for 4 to $5 and flip it for 25 to 20 to 30 bucks, you know, and actually flip it for a higher cost. And now it, it, it would be very cost neutral. Cost neutral or just a couple bucks in profit. So it's not exactly worth it because those Overwatch things probably sell for $20. So you would buy one at 20 and get one for free for 20 So you would not make any profit on one and then you would make $20 profit on the other if they're selling for 20 Um, I didn't scan them because I just looked around. Some of the stuff was like middle of the road stuff or stuff that I had already scanned in Chicago or scanned here and realized it just wasn't selling. Um, or, or I bought it and sold it for a decent amount, but here with the prices and the buy one get one free it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense okay um so really now if you go to gamestop it's buy one get one free so you would have to sell both the profit um for the most part but see when i was picking this stuff up it was all 50 percent off which is insane so this is my tip is stay tuned with all the stores just pop in every once in a while and what happened was this the Noitron thing was kind of a tip from someone. Um, and basically what happened was I picked up on it. And when I realized all the clearance was 50% off, I was buying a ton of stuff. I mean, a ton of stuff. And so I think that's really some of the, some of the things that you have to look at is does it make sense are you, am I going to profit or is it cost neutral? Do I have to sub both to even profit, right? So you have to think, I was selling Monopoly games for $25 to $28. I was selling all those Noitrons for $31 plus, $30 plus. And I was selling tons of other stuff for $27, $28. Five Nights at Freddy's game packs for $27. And I only paid roughly... 1300 to actually a thousand for all of it so what i can tell you is i actually made over 1700 dollars, but i made 1700 off of one item i probably made well over two thousand dollars 2500 dollars on this one retail arbitrage trip for one day which was only an hour and a half from my house and i did not use very much gas i filled my tank up twice for 20 bucks and i paid for a hotel room for 115 on this trip which is even worse but I didn't have to fix it it finally had stopped doing what I was doing and I continued my trip so less than 24 hours I profited over 1700 on one item 
So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. Go ahead and share it out with your friends and show me some love and thumbs up it. I know the people that are giving me those thumbs down. I know you. All right. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I don't know you, but I've been getting a lot of thumbs down lately, and I don't care. It is what it is. I'm, I put these uh, videos out for people to learn from and also to pe for people to kind of show the lifestyle and also how to do retail arbitrage, and I hope you liked it. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side. Make that money.